Hi, my name is Mama Gianna, and I'm in the Gungyo Leader Tribe. And uh, the reason why I chose to be a ranger is because I wanted to work on country and stay closer to home. And I will be talking about biodiversity. The reason why we do biodiversity is so we can monitor the habitats around the area that we stay in and maintain it with the population and insects and animals that we survey. In biodiversity, we have a variety of locations in Burktown and Housegate. The benefits in biodiversity is that we get a general idea of what species are in our area and potentially new ones that we'll find in the future. As a ranger, one of the things we do most is weed management. And for weed management, we target, reduce, and eradicate weed species in our area. And over the three years I've worked as a ranger, the numbers have decreased by uh, applying the excess and diesel method that we use on our weeds to kill them. Our weed species have an effect on our native trees that wrap around them as they get bigger and choke them and kill them off while destroying smaller habitats for our mammals and animal species. The primary weeds that we mainly focus on are rubber vine and cow drop in our areas. My name is Marley Allen. I'm from the Gangalita tribe on the Gulamola Bear Money Agreement. I uh, grew up and lived in Mungaroi Bertam my whole life. I uh, became a ranger because I wanted to help revive the culture and traditional knowledge and practices of my tribe and to help look after the land and all that resides in it. Uh, the Gungalit and Gutterer Rangers cover two large regions throughout the Gulf of Carpentaria. Um, we cover the Gungalit tribe from Leichhardt River Falls all the way to the Hells Gate and the Gutterer tribe from Hells Gate all the way to the Northern Territory border and we cover along the whole coast as well. We want to help decrease the chances of Wi-Fi outbreaks and help promote new growth and revitalize the country. We burn around the Burktown Township, up to the Hells Gate and along the coast, all the way to the NT border. Fire ties in with our biodiversity surveys as fire helps the land and encourages new growth of flora, which increases the population of native fauna in our region. G'day, my name is Zachary Soden, I'm Garawa Man. Um, the reason why I joined the Rangers is to get back and work on country and stuff like that. and you'll see the cultural side of thing and learn about myself and my culture. Today we, I'll be talking about um, turtles and our turtle management program. Why we do it is to just monitor turtles and stuff like that and see the numbers and the changes. Some of the changes we've seen like the numbers have increased since I've started working, I started working about four years ago. But the numbers have increased, starting to see like um, turtles with tags and stuff we tagged from like back like four years ago. Some of the problems like occurring with the turtles, weeds is like the main one, and predators. Um, some of the surveys we do to um, eradicate the problems, but the predators and weeds. We have a weed management program, we spray weeds on the beach fronts and stuff like that. We have um, marine debris surveys as well, we go out and pick up all the rubbish and record it, the weight of it and where it's predominantly coming from. So we can try to find out where it's coming from to report back and see if we can stop the problem before it happens. Hello, I'm Michael Watson, I'm a gun little man, and uh, the reason why I joined the Rangers is because I want to learn more about my culture, get that sense of identity, and also to, you know, be a role model for future generations to come. So I'm going to be talking about shorebird surveys. We do our shorebird surveys at the mouth of um, Albert River. We have three to four different shorebird sites that are only accessible by boat or helicopter. We do shorebird surveys because we want to learn more about the birds in our area. Why do they come here? Are they endangered? And just get a rough sense of the population. Why is, uh, is the population growing or decreasing and find out the reason why that is? Some of the problems that these birds face while traveling is loss of habitats. A lot of the shorebirds that come to Australia, they are endangered and it's our job as rangers to protect them for future generations to see. I would describe the rangers as adventurous, inspiring, rewarding, motivating, culturally diverse, 